Yeah, Todd, what's your thoughts on that tonight? Okay, well, clearly we're, we're not where we need to be. Um, you, you know, I can keep saying that until we are, but so let, let's focus on a few positives first. I thought that um, our, our kill was significantly better. They looked, uh, uh, you know, a lot more organized. They were communicating well, and we, we where we got stung by them a couple times uh, the previous week, um, we killed off our, our, our power plays, or their power plays. Um, I thought um, uh, McNicholas's power play looked back to a little bit more confidence. We had created some chances off that. Um, our D zone, although we were under pressure, um, was better. Um, we, we, we just didn't give them the run of it. Um, now, focusing on the areas where we need to get better, uh, it's clear that guys aren't thinking as fast as that pace uh, was tonight. And there are a couple of reasons for that. One, we're either not in the condition um, that we need to be. Um, that was an extremely fast pace out there tonight, um, and Belfast does not stop skating. I think that's going to be the pace of the league, um, and and we, we we need to make some serious improvements in that that uh, area where we gave up a lot of outman situations before. I thought we had three men above the puck, and we're taking guys to the net, so uh, Shane wasn't exposed like he was in Cardiff. Um, you, you know that's important to note. Um, but from an organizational standpoint, uh, it's it's clear that we need. Uh, two or three import forwards in, um, and, and a D-man as well. Um, now, that's something that is ongoing. Um, I've made no secret about it. I've talked about it. Um, it it's not a great time to, to find forwards. I know that there's not only teams in this league looking, there's a lot of teams in Europe looking as well. Um, but that's going to be imperative to our success because although we created a few decent scoring opportunities tonight, uh, we, we, we're just not generating that offense. We had two breakaways again tonight, and we're not putting the puck in the net. You can get outplayed in a game, but if you get your opportunities, like the last time Belfast were in this building, um, we didn't finish on four two-on-ones. And tonight we had two breakaways, and once again, you, you, you know, we're, we're, we're looking at zero offense. So that's a that's a big problem that needs addressed. Just yeah, talking about on that you know recruitment issue, um, you know, seen this week, you know, teams like Coventry and Belfast have managed to kind of bring, bring players in this week. Is there something that is, is holding us back that we've we've not been able to you know you know get that business over the line this week? No, no. <clears throat> I okay. So let's make it clear. We need a specific skill set to fill the slot, and so what I'm talking about is a first and second line centerman, okay? So bringing a guy in for a sake of bringing a guy in is not gonna solve the fundamental issues that we face. Yes, that would be fantastic, but because we're only restrict, we're restricted to six changes this year, burning a spot where it's clear that we're probably gonna have to use the maximum amount is not gonna do, it, it may, gather some attention in the short term, but it's not going to solve the issues. The fact is, is that we're just not at the pace where we need to be to compete in this league. I think it's probably you know, the same issue. I mean, the last you know, five games, we've only scored three goals in, in those five games. I mean, that's really kind of the, the crux of the issue at the moment, really, isn't it? Well, it really is. And, you, you know, um, it, it's kind of unfamiliar territory. You know, one of the luxuries that we've had um, over the last however many years we've been in the Elite League is we've always had some degree of guaranteed offense. Now, we don't have that this year, um, and there's reasons for it. And, you, you know, when I go back to the holes in our lineup that I'm talking about, it's not just fundamentally about going up the ice with the puck and scoring. That's a huge part of it, and that's what people want to see. But it begins in our defensive zone, where you end up getting hemmed in for 20, 25 seconds because you have a guy in a position. Like we have our two um, British forwards who are pegged to play wing, probably, um, you, you know, a, a sixth and tenth position playing, you know, second and third center in our lineup. 
Now, that has a rolling impact through all aspects of the game. It, it, it just does. And, you know, it's very hard to get a sustained rush when you, you play in your own zone for 35 seconds. And, you know, you get to the red line and you're just hoping to get it deep and turn it over, or not turn it over, so you're in your zone for another 30 seconds and get a change. So that's not the type of hockey that we want to play. It's just a position that we find ourselves in right now. And, um, you know, just speaking to, to Hutch in, the, in the, the office, like we have been for the last three weeks, um, you, you know, the help can't come quick enough for us. Yeah, I mean, obviously, in that, it's kind of the hand you've been dealt at the moment, I mean, how do you then you know, go on to get the best out of those, these players that we've got at the moment? Well, first of all, it's not demanding things that we're not capable of providing at this point. I mean, you, you know, like, so tonight was an improved effort on the week before. It, and I'll make it clear. Is it where we want to be as a team, as where the coaching staff wants us, and certainly our fan base? Absolutely not. I recognize that. I think everybody recognizes that. But, you, you know, we're not going to just sit back and accept our fate. It's about making these changes. We have the green light to, or, you know, bring in the guys. And, um, but, it, it, you know, yeah, you also have to find it. And anybody in the hockey world knows that, you know, there's not this list of players sitting at home ready to play. We're waiting some things happening in North America and around the leagues. And when it does, and when the right guys come available, we'll, we'll be making the moves. Yep, just moving on to the rest of the weekends. I mean, obviously you mentioned conditioning. I mean, we've got, you know, a triple triple weekend this weekend. Do you think that could become a factor, the, the condition of the guys coming into this weekend, coming to the end of it? Well, if anything, we're, you know, all three Challenge Cup. I mean, I think one of the benefits being, in a, you know, by no means are we saying we want to concede the Challenge Cup. I think it's, it's beneficial to the situation that we find ourselves in that most of October is Challenge Cup games. So you don't lose an incredible amount of pace in the league, albeit you would be hoping to get off to a much better start. I think it helps you gel as a team. I think it helps the community and the fan base uh, come behind the team. Um, but if there's going to be a time where you know you're looking to improve your existing squad and you know build upon things week by week. Now is the time, I suppose. There's never a good time, um, but now now would be the time for that.